Did you know that guava leaves work as a hair thickening agent? The vitamins B and C nourish hair follicles and help in hair growth. Guava leaves are rich in analgesic, antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, and antioxidant properties. By massaging the extract deeply into your scalp, you'll be able to maintain optimum scalp health. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you're visiting for the first time, you are so welcome. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can use guava leaves water to wash, moisturize, and probably grow your hair. We will need a handful of guava leaves. So what I'm doing right now is plucking off the guava leaves from the guava tree. This is a guava tree from a given farm. You know, actually, first of all, let me share with you the benefits of using guava leaves water for hair growth. So these are like reasons as to why you should apply guava leaves water on your hair so that you exactly know what you're using and why you're using it. So guys, guava leaves are fully packed with polyphenols. Guava leaves contain vitamin B and C, which helps keep our hair healthy and shiny. It slows down or stops hair fall, meaning it prevents hair loss and therefore encourages hair growth. It promotes a healthy scalp. That means it will help treat uh, scalp diseases like dandruff. It also treats split ends. It promotes healthier hair. With the vitamins present in the guava leaves, you are assured of healthier hair. It also prevents hair damage. So we'll find that in the leaves there are antioxidants which help fight the hair damage. It also protects your hair from sunshine. So you know there is a lycopene which is another guava leaf ingredient that offers you protection against the sun's ultraviolet rays which are very dangerous for our hair. It also improves blood circulation. So guys, at this point, I already started washing the guava leaves. So you need salty water to wash the guava leaves. This is to help kill the bacteria and germs on the leaves. So now add the guava leaves to a clean pan and then add some water to the leaves. You need to just add what is enough. I didn't put in too much water. And then after you can place it on your cooker or on your stove. After putting it on fire, let it boil for 20 minutes so that it can be able to extract the nutrients from the leaves. After cooking for a while, I had to come and check on the guava leaves. So I had to mix them by putting the ones which are on the bottom to the top and the top to the bottom and then covered my pot. After a while, the guava leaves water is already boiling, so we can see it's boiling properly. At this point, I'll turn off the fire. It has boiled for 20 minutes. I'll then let it cool to room temperature. So at this point, it has cooled down. So guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the leaves from the water. This is the water. This is how it looks like. I'll then add the guava leaves water to my spray bottle with the help of a funnel. Please, if you've not yet subscribed to our channel, kindly go and subscribe so that you don't miss out on our amazing videos which we post every week on Tuesday. So guys, this is the guava leaves water. This is how it looks like. So we are going to get to the application process. But first, at this point, I want to give a big shout out to everyone who is watching me from all over the world. But mostly my top geographies. Whoever is watching from United States, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Nigeria, United Kingdom, and Uganda. Thank you so much for watching and whoever is watching from all those other countries that I've not mentioned. I love you so much. Thank you so much. And if you already subscribed, thanks a lot. I love you too. And may God bless you. So at this point, as you can see, I'm spraying the guava leaves water to my hair and scalp. 
you get the guava leaves water then spray directly to your hair and scalp like what I'm doing so you have no uh, need to worry about whether your hair is plated or not whether your hair is in cornrows braids and all that like mine are in cornrows but I'm doing it so I'd like to talk more about the usage of guava leaves water. You can use it as a mist like every day. You can add it to your deep conditioner to help you moisturize your hair, but it also comprises amazing nutrients. So you can also use it as a rinse for your hair growth. So when you think of rinsing your hair, you could look at using guava leaves water. Please, if you've liked this video, or you're finding it helpful kindly give us a thumbs up and if you have any question go to the comment section if you want to share anything with us till the comment section and if you've not yet subscribed please click on the red button and see what i can do for you i always upload my videos every week on tuesday don't forget to press the notification button or the bell icon so that you're always informed whenever we upload our videos guys so as you can see in the video, I'm trying to massage my scalp after applying the uh, guava leaves water to my hair. And then from there, I'm going to grab my shower cap and rub my hair into the shower cap. So right now, what I'm going to do next is just get my satin reversible bonnet and put it on. So what you need to know, you can have your guava leaves water on your hair and scalp for two hours or you can have it overnight. So for me, I decided to have it overnight and the next day, I'll just be washing my hair like a normal wash day routine. So guys, what you need to know is that when you apply guava leaves water to your hair, it doesn't mean that you're going to see the results in one or two days. This kind of treatment needs patience and consistency. You need to keep applying the guava leaves water to your hair so that you can see better results. So that's it for today's video. Please subscribe, like, comment and share the video. Bye!